The Real Weather Watch is brought to you by DeKalb, all season strong. So Gina, what's what is the story for Ontario farmers? Uh, what are they what are we going to be dealing with in uh, southern Ontario this spring? So uh, we're coming out of a very mild winter, and I know a lot of people are talking about the lack of snow that we've had so far. And um, you know, actually, a lot of that through the winter. Uh, in terms of precipitation, we really saw uh, about average amounts of precipitation, at least from the corridor from about Windsor to Toronto, because uh, instead of coming as snow, it just came down as rain. So um, we're actually not on too bad of a footing as we as we head into the spring months. And our spring outlook for most of southwestern Ontario is about near normal uh, uh, precipitation amounts, so just around that seasonal average. Um, it looks like we could see higher amounts as we head into central Ontario and uh, eastern Ontario. So we're not looking at the uh, cool, wet temperatures like we saw uh, last spring? Yeah, no, it's looking uh, it's looking different, of course, uh, for this spring. Uh, yeah, as, as you can tell, even right now and in, in our forecast into next week and right through the end of March is looking uh, milder than normal. So we really have this um, very anomalous jet stream pattern, really just bringing in those mild temperatures. Um, the trick, though, uh, kind of the tricky thing that's coming into play now, now is thunderstorms. And we're already seeing these thunderstorms starting to pop up. Uh, we saw them uh, this past week. We're going to see them into next week as well. And that's a bit tricky because we can see really heavy uh, rainfall um, uh, locally, so very spotty. Some places might see nothing. Some places could get, you know, 50 millimeters in uh, an hour or two. So that is going to be um, the thing to watch as we head into, into spring. And do those thunderstorms, other than, you know, the, the localized precipitation, do, do they mean anything for down the road or what potentially could be happening as we move farther into the season? Yeah, you know, thunderstorms um, are interesting. It's, it's hard to talk about the potential for thunderstorms um, from a seasonal perspective because they're, uh, you know, the dynamics of the thunderstorm are so local, it's very, very small scale. So, you know, at this point, we can just look in, into about the next week or so. Um, but with these mild temperatures, it does look like we do have the potential to see those thunderstorms. Um, you know, as we head into April and May, I think we'll just have to wait and see. It is looking like we'll kind of see more of the, these more typical seasonal patterns as we head into later in the spring. <laughs> 